He's not a speedster. No. Plotting. Methodical. Yeah. Methodical is a nice word for you play really slow. Say he played really slow. So he played at a methodical pace. <laughs> Very different. Ooh, I've just found out that purple belt refers to Rudy Briska. It's a pretty good rank. Okay. Pretty good rank. What's no belt? What, what rank is that? Because I have no belt. I think that's civilian. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what that is. I'm wearing a belt in my suit. Does that count for anything? That's different than a martial art belt. Ah, okay. I'm going to have to Google. Learn a little bit. Steve Mann on the play. He'll start with the Temple of Abandon. Methodical. Thoughtful. <laughs> with a scry. Shaheen. Less so. Top card to the bottom. A mountain, a little ramp in Rattleclaw Mystic. Temple of Mystery, top card, stays on top. Man will draw. Nissa World Waker. And now here's a time to cast Pelucranos, a big threat. One that cannot be languished away. Surrounded with another temple here. And Pelucranos has gotten a little bit better in the control matchup because of the printing of Languish. Uh, before these... The threat's a little bit on the slow side, and when people are on the end hostile, these Crux of Fate kind of packages. Uh, Pelugranos is not the ideal threat, but if people are moving more and more to Languish, then Pelugranos becomes a lot better. Temp Protector, face-up jam, right in the face of a Pelugranos. That could just kill it. Uh, okay, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> Shaheen's hand is pretty loaded, and I guess he's going to be tight on mana, just needs to tie up Steven's turn. For what it's worth, he might be hoping that this is exactly what man's turn is. There's no way he's casting this with any other intent. Sure. It's Sheen's got a lot of spot removal, his hand's slow, and he's okay with this being Steve's turn. Well, that's basically what he's announcing by playing it the way he did. Now he's down to 12. Opulent Palace. I thought it was Lance in the battlefield tapped a huge problem. Sheen will just pass the turn back. He might be taking another huge hit here. Steve drew a forest. That's land number five for Nissa number one. That's the world waking variety. Now what's odd here for Steve is that if he goes into combat and attacks and in the unlikely event Shaheen kills the Rattleclaw Mystic, Steve has no turn. But if he casts the creature before uh, a spell before combat, Shaheen might counter it instead of killing the Pelucranos, and then Steve is down to his Nissa. It's a very weird squeeze. Yeah. Here's a Whisperwood Elemental. Pelucranos is going to bite the dust. But Shaheen is set up pretty well for this. He does have Languish in hand. Yeah, Steve gets a little bit on the way out, yep. but it's a good setup for Shaheen. Shaheen going to scry right now. Top card to the bottom, we think. He thinks. It's unclear. There it goes. And now Languish. Which will be sacrificed. So, Steve will get the manifest once. Now we head back S Man's way. He'll attack here for a couple points of damage. What at Foothills? And now Nissa. And this is the real prize for Steven in the matchup. Absolutely. Not the easiest card for Shaheen to answer. Steve will make the mountain into a 4 4 trampler. Search up a forest with the wooded foothills. Is there a short court, short cutting, excuse me, a little bit here? You can only languish so many times. We might find out just how many.
Is the hero's downfall, perhaps? Yeah, Shaheen does have the answer. Also has a copy of Murder's Cut in hand, so he's okay. It's not great position, but he's standing off elimination. Ashiok in hand, too, in case he can ever turn the corner. That's a way for him to do so. And Steve's hand is a little jammed up, and if he makes a move here, Languish gets it everything. Yep. Here's an attack for six. They're only going to go down to four. It's a tough spot to be in because if you add more to the board, you get by, beat by sweepers. If you just say go from here, Shaheen could just beat you with a couple of removal spells. And he can pick you apart. Yeah. Shaman of Forgotten Ways. Shaheen, just reading that, uh, doesn't do anything when it comes to play, gets killed by language, right? Okay, cool, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Pretty much. <laughs> so that dies like everything else, cool. There's a 2-3. Not a huge player in this match. Of course, her crew fixed the draw. That'll be the play, it appears. Take a look at that top card. It's a Xenagos. That's an Elvish mystic. Murderous cuts will take care of Corsair. So back to Shaheen at four, with 90 seconds left to play before they have time called. All you can do is pass the turn, no land to play. It's Zenigo's time, does it resolve? Almost certainly not. Yep, it's getting dissolved. Another problematic card for Shaheen's deck. Top card going to stay on top in the scry. In comes Elvish Mystic, Shaheen down to three. He's getting chipped away a little bit. Thought sees the draw. No, no, who wants to cast that one? Oh my. He left it on top. Fair enough. Genesis Hydras. <laughs> well, you got to kill that. Hero's down, fall the Elvish Mystic. There's a Forest. There's a Genesis Hydra. Top three cards. That's one. And two. Oh, perfect. And three. Corsair. Steven able to find another threat. I think Shaheen has another language, however. Yep, he does. But he's got to answer everything. Yep. Forever. Because he's at one. Top card is an Elvish Mystic. He's got to answer that one, too. Missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Is this what will do him in? Cure up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's going to just draw land. Oh, oh my God. Nissa. No. That is going to do it. It's going to kill him. Steve Mann going to win this match over Sheen Serrani. Two games to one. This is a world waker off the top in extra turns. Gets the job done here. For S. Mann, he moves on to five and one, giving Serrani a second loss on the weekend. Really great.